Welcome back to the Bluffton News. Joining us now is John Rogers, who's the headmaster of Thomas Hayward Academy. Welcome, John. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. John, why don't we start off by giving our viewers a little bit of a background of the history of Thomas Hayward Academy. All right. It was obviously named for the sign of the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Hayward. It's been in existence since 1970. It's a college preparatory school, K-4 through 12, located, of course, in Ridgeland, South Carolina. Now, is the Thomas Hayward Academy environment conducive to learning? It certainly is. Uh, I don't think you can have a school that's good at anything if you don't have an environment that's conducive to learning. Now, how do you, how do you document yourselves as a college preparatory school? Well, this past year, for example, we sent 100% of our graduates to college and the senior class earned $1.5 million in earned academic scholarships. That's a pretty impressive statistic. Do you have an idea of how that compares with other schools in the area? I think it's consistent with the private schools in the area because all of them that I know of are, are college preparatory schools. And do you have a specific area of academics that you focus on? We have uh, the entire curriculum. We take the math through calculus and we take the science through physics and advanced biology and of course English through four years. Standard college preparatory curriculum. All right, well, so now that we've covered the academics, how about the arts and sciences? Very fortunate to have an outstanding uh, art teacher and Ms. Carmen Pinckney. Uh, we have an art program funded by a private family in Ridgeland that gave us some money to start up. And we have students that have won uh, honors at the art show in Columbia and just very fortunate to have a real good setup in the arts. It sounds like you've got a very well-rounded program. Very quickly, anything special coming up this fall? Well, uh, we are looking forward to Ms. Dinah Gretsch, who is a parent that funded our music program. We're going to send a group of students to the State Music Festival, and hopefully they're going to perform with the African drum setup that they've got. And Dinah Gretsch, through Ms. G's foundation, has Gretsch Enterprises has taken care of that for us. So Ms. Gretsch and Ms. Pinckney uh, comprise our entire fine arts department. Well, John, thank you so much for giving us a bit of an insider's view into Thomas Hayward Academy and best of luck with the coming school year. Thank you very much for having us.